Hey guys, it's Ruth Zeger, the Executive Director of the Chagrin Falls Historical Society and Museum, and I'm here for another History Mystery Monday. This mystery is a little different because I don't have an answer yet, and I'm looking for you guys to help me. Uh, this gentleman uh, messaged us on Facebook wanting to know if there were any relatives of T. E. Miller still in the area. And the reason he asks this is he has a silver presentation cup that was uh, presented to the president. This is a problem being outside. The Henry Miller Foundry gave the president of the company, T.E. Miller, in 1917. And this is the cup. He actually says that um, there are other cups, but that's the only one that's engraved. So it's a little hard to find a Miller because there's a lot of them. And I cannot figure out what T.E. stands for. Uh, so that's not helpful. So one of the first things I did after um, getting his message is I went into our trusty Don Barabal book, Milltown on the R Chagrin River. And it tells us that um, the Continental Steel Company sold it to the Henry Miller Foundry Company in 1916. The foundry employed 130 to 140 men and their monthly payroll was $14,000. Now, this was mainly known as the Chagrin Falls Manufacturing Company, although it changed hands a lot. Um, and this was located um, down near Pine Street. So that's that. And we are just searching for T.E. Miller. So if you know anything about a T.E. Miller in Chagrin Falls, between 1916 and 1918, we have a silver presentation cup that might belong to your family. So give us a shout out and I hope you guys have a great Monday and I will see you next week and hopefully you have found answers for me. Thanks.